None of his clients commented in any of those pictures. So I knew it was scam likely. I knew it was scam likely. I knew it. I knew it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel with your girl, Danny K, in no other way. How my Danny babies doing on this beautiful day? And I am back with yet another masterpiece. If you're OG, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, what it do, what it do, what it do. So I started this new series. It's a vending machine series. If you saw a couple of weeks ago, I went and I was looking for a vending machine and I was expressing my interest of me buying a vending machine and, you know, vlogging my experience of looking for a vending machine. And I know I've been going for a minute. I haven't posted any vending machine business like in a minute, probably like a couple of weeks. I think it's like two or three, no, more than two weeks. I post like a, like a month. I'm going to say like a month. Um, and I'm here to explain my reason why and I hope you guys listen to this video because if you're watching this video and you want to start a vending machine right now, this is very important for you guys to know. Okay? So, I have been looking everywhere for a refurbished used vending machine. <clears throat> I've made appointments and I'm going to give y'all the tea and give y'all a secret that ain't nobody telling y'all that y'all need to know before y'all go and you know look for these vending machines and like my experience when i went to look at these vending machines as well so i went to look at my first vending machine uh made the appointment to look at it it went well didn't really like the vending machine i decided not to go with that vending machine because for my first vending machine i don't want to have any problems with it um i don't want to have to like find a technician within the first two months or maybe the first the first year at all and that vending machine looked like it had a lot of problems. Like the light, you could tell like the light had like a little shortage in it because you have to keep moving the light so that it could stay on. So I was just like, no. And then it was a very, very old model and it didn't have a card reader. So at this point, I'm just like, to make it easier on my end, I, I'm just going to like buy a vending machine that already had a, that already have a card reader. So since that vending machine didn't have a card reader, that was already a no. I decided that I didn't want to do it so that was that so then i decided i was like okay let me look at the other you know people who i reach out to who i want to you know vending machine that i want to go look at and during that same week i went to look at that vending machine i had three more other appointments that i was supposed to go to so let me tell you what happened so this actually happened right before new year's i was supposed to go see one vending machine the guy canceled on me twice um and i canceled on him once so it was I think, I don't know if it was before Christmas or New Year's, but I know he was like, he's out shopping with the family. He's out with the family. So he canceled and then he was out of town. So he canceled and then I canceled because I think I was sick or I wasn't feeling good. So I canceled and I just never reached out to him since. Um, I do plan to reach out to him again because the other experiences weren't well and he seemed more legit or whatever. It's just that he do his location is like further away from my house. So it's like I have a good drive that I have to take to go and see the vending machine. So if I'm serious about going to see this vending machine, if I think I want to do this, I need to act on it and just get it done. Um, he do offer like I could pay in full or I can make payments. And I like that because I'm like, okay, he's legit. He had a warehouse. He had pictures and stuff like that. He had a website. So when you got a website, your website is polished. That is one thing that I take in consideration that promotes me to want to buy a vending machine from you or whatever. So that's the one messed up, okay? That was like, but I feel like I'm going to reach out to him again soon. So the next, so the next um person that I went, that I was supposed to go see, um, Okay, so this guy, every time I try to go see the vending machine, one time he was at, he wasn't like near, like we already made the appointment now. It's probably like an hour, an hour, hour and a half before it's time for me to go look at the vending machine. The location is like 45 minutes, an hour away from you. Mind you, I live in Atlanta, all right? I live in Atlanta, traffic in Atlanta is crazy. So if the regular time is 30, 45 minutes, I'm gonna be looking at an hour, hour, 15 minutes. You know, I wanna leave early just, in case there's traffic so my man hit me up and he says oh 
I am not in the location. I'm away from my location. Can we push the time back? The time was already five o'clock. That was pushing it. Because first of all, this is rush hour time. All right. I'm coming to see this vending machine during rush hour time. So I'm, I'm going to already experience traffic on the way there. That's one. Two, it starts getting dark around 5.30, 6 o'clock. And no, I'm not going to meet anyone to go see a vending machine when it starts getting dark. So that's two. No, I'm not doing it. So I was like, no, I'm not going to meet you at no 5.30 or 6 o'clock. I said, we can't meet at 4.30 or 5. I like, we have to reschedule. Okay, good. So we rescheduled for... I think it was it was a Saturday or a Sunday. I know it was a weekend. So it was a Saturday or a Sunday we rescheduled, right? So we rescheduled that at that time for me to go see the vending machine. Oh, can you come before this time? Because the game come on. The game. Are you serious? Are you serious? So I was like, you know what? This is the time that I'm available. If I can't come around this time, I'm not changing my schedule to fit your schedule because you keep changing the schedule. Like we already set a time and you keep like changing the time. So I was just like, bump it, bump him on to the next. Then I had this other guy and they both had a lot going on. He had a lot going on, okay? a lot going on so you know i made my appointments and um i think i canceled the first appointment i wasn't able to go because of something i don't know the second appointment i was supposed to go um it was time for me to actually leave my house like i'm in public it's like okay after i leave public i'm going straight there hit my man's up like you know what's your address i'm ready to come my man hasn't hit me up so i'm like oh oh okay this what we doing? Oh, so I, I'm thinking like this some scam. My man dodging me. Like what's going on? He texted me. Was like I'm in the hospital right now. Um, I'm sorry, but you know we have to reschedule. So I'm just like, okay. I hope you feel better. You know, make sure you feel better when we reschedule because I don't want to get sick. So then he called me. He explained the situation. Like yeah, my girlfriend just had a baby. You know, we've been in the hospital. So I'm sorry about that, but as soon as we get out, as soon as I get back situated and have time, I'll let you know. So he got out the hospital, he lets me know it was a Saturday, I was supposed to come see the see the vending machine or whatever. So the day up. Oh, can we reschedule? I I mean today's not a good day. I have a lot going on. A lot going on. Oh my god. understand what's going on because <laughs> i don't understand i don't understand y'all i just want to purchase me a vending machine that's it like if you want to have your time conflictions and you can't show people the vending machine then why are you trying to sell it why huh oh hell no okay so here is another experience that i experienced so Somebody, I'm in this vending machine group on Facebook and somebody posted that she's selling vending machines or whatever. So I hit her up like, okay, you selling two vending machines for 1200. I want to see because this did not sound accurate. The vending machines look practically new. They had car readers and all of that. So $1,200 for a vending machine. I'm, Cause I'm thinking it's one vending machine for $1,200. I'm like, all right, cool. So I hit her up and I'm like, yeah, I want to like, you know, I'm thinking I'm interested in purchasing a vending machine from you. I saw the pictures and I like the pictures. Um, it looks like good quality or whatever. So she was like, oh, yeah, um, I'm located in San Diego, but I can ship to you. Da -da -da -da. She asked me my location. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm in Atlanta. She said, okay, to Atlanta is free shipping. I'm just like, what? And she said, oh, and it's both two vending machines for $1,200. i am selling it for $600 each. And I was like, why are you selling it for $600 each? Is there anything wrong with it? She was like, no. So I was like, can you send me some videos of, like, the vending machine and you actually testing the vending machine out? She sent me a picture and I was like, no, I want a video. So she sends me a video, y'all. The video was like five seconds long. And it was inside the vending machine, like inside the back of the vending machine, like where the wires are. And I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with this video? I'm gonna see if I can find this video because I just want to show y'all because y'all probably think I'm exaggerating. That's what y'all probably think. I'm going to find a video and I'm going to add this video to this video. 
because it 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 just was not accurate at all, okay? It was giving me scam like me. Like, I'm not about to send you money for a vending machine and you can't even send me videos of you testing out the vending machine. Right? Right. So now on to the next incident that I had. This happened this week, actually. So I found somebody on in the group, the vending machine group. I think I'm going to just call the vending machine group a quits because it just really ain't giving what it's supposed to give. Oh, look, this is the video. The video is three seconds long, y'all. This is the video that she sent me of the vending machine. That's it. That's <laughs> the inside where the wires are. She didn't even send me like videos of the vending machine. She sent me these pictures right here. Let me show y'all. She sent me these pictures. These vending machines are supposed to be $600 each. And I just knew it was just like way too good to be true or whatever. So she, she wouldn't even send me any videos of the vending machine, like testing the vending machine out. So I was like, oh yeah, no. So this just happened recently. This is also someone from the vending machine group. Um, I would t I posted in the vending machine group and was like, I'm looking for a vending machine in Atlanta, Georgia. Anybody know anybody that's selling it? So my man sent me up and was like, um, check out my Instagram. So I went to his Instagram and I DM'd him and I was like, okay, I'm interested in buying a vending machine. Like it was just like the conversation kept going back and forth. Like I'm interested in buying them in the vending machine. He texts back, okay. I said, how much are your vending machines? I just kept asking him questions. I'm gonna go to the text messages so y'all can see. I just felt like if I'm telling you I'm interested in your vending machine, at that point, you need to send me all the details that you have on your vending machine. Let me know what vending machines you have, how much each vending machine you have, is it new or is it refurbished, what's the price of the vending machine, like this back and forth, trying to figure out what I want. Nigga, we gotta save all of this back and forth, but you could have just sent me a list of what you have and I could have tell you what I wanted. So, I was like, um, do you sell vendings? Yes. Refurbished? Both. New and refurbished. I said, okay, how much are they? New or refurbished? Refurbished. There are different types based on your budget. $800 upward. I said, I'm looking for a snack machine or whatever. So, he sent me a picture of what he has, right? Okay, so I was like, what is the price for each? And what's the branding of each vending machine? He told me the branding. I was like, okay, what's the price? He told me the price. I'm like, okay, do they have a car reader? He said, yes. I said, how much is the two in the middle? I like those. He was like, $900, $1,000. I'm like, where are you located? Atlanta, New Jersey, Florida, and we deliver worldwide. I said, okay, I'm in ATL. Can I come check them out in person? This is where the red flag came in. He said, delivery. And the policy is to pay half then when it deliver, you sign the necessary paperwork and pay the rest. I'm not giving you no money until I sign the paperwork. I'm not giving you money and then sign the paperwork. Do I look stupid? Do I look dumb? Are you dumb? Clearly. So I'm like, um, so you don't have a warehouse where I can check it out prior to purchasing to make sure it works good. He goes, we can do that for you when we get to your venue. We have some few delivery in New Jersey and Florida soon. I said, can y'all send me videos of you testing it out? He said, okay, right? So let me let me show y'all the how the vending machines look. This is the vending machine that I wanted right here. I don't, matter of fact, I'm gonna have this right here. So this is the vending machine that I wanted right here, right? Either that one or this one. This is the vending machine. This is the video that he sent me of the vending machine. This is not the same vending machine. It is not. And I text him back, I want to see the video of the vending machine I'm interested in. He never messaged me back. So I'm like, this is scam likely. So you know, I, me, me being the person that I am, I went and do my research and I went and look at the videos, the pictures and videos on his vending machine. He was posting people like, congratulations for purchasing your vending machine. Now, mind you, if you're a business, you don't have that many followers or whatever. He had like 500 followers. And you posting people, you would think that you would tag the people that you post so you can get more recommendation and stuff like that. 
he didn't tag any of his clients in any of those pictures. None of his clients commented in any of those pictures. So I knew it was scam likely. I knew it was scam likely. I knew it. I knew it. I'm just like, at this point, I'm legitly going with a vending business that I know has a website that I know I can go see in person and that I know is on a fucking map and on Google because all of this, all of this, all of this is not working. And y'all look at this. Look at this. His account right now is shut down. It is shut down. And I'm about to post in a group like y'all be careful because it's scamming like the shit going on around here scam likely yes people will scam it's so crazy because people are scamming about any and everything any and everything and vending machine is the business because everybody's trying to purchase a vending machine and now niggas just scamming now they just scamming they taking people money and they scamming and i just hope people are smart enough to know not to just give people their money without signing any personal like contract and you know doing your your research on these companies and stuff because it's different when you when you purchase from a person and you're able to see the vending machine test out the vending machine and all of that give them the money the vending machine yours but when like when you purchase it from a company and they try to send it to you and they try to send it to you and they don't see you no know, videos like you can't test it out like if i can't test out the vending machine i don't want it if you don't have a website with reviews i don't want it if you don't have a social media with with real clients commenting and reviewing i don't want it and i just want to let y'all know that before y'all go and look for these vending machines make sure y'all do your research and make sure these people aren't scamming y'all these i'm gonna let y'all know the scammers are out there they're not telling y'all that in these other videos, but the scammers are out there and they're going to try to scam you out your money. They're going to act like they're selling vending machines, but they really ain't. They're going to take your money and they're going to bounce and they're going to go. They're going to be like, oh, we can't send you videos. We can't send you pictures. And they're going to take your money and go. You got to pay half now and you got to pay half later. They're going to take your money and go. Be careful. Be careful with these people. They are scamming. They are scamming out here in these streets. And I'm in Atlanta in Scam City. Scam City, all right? But I'm glad I'm smart enough and I'm street smart to know to do my research and do my research before I purchase and do my research before I make any other move. Because when it comes down to my money, I'm not just giving anybody my money. Not doing it. <laughs> yeah, I just went a little hard. But yeah, I just, I'm just fed up with it. I'm just tired. It's like, I started looking for vending machines in December and it's a February and I haven't found a vending machine yet. However, I did find this vending machine company they do have a website. I actually talked to someone um, on the phone and I can come in and check out the vending machine. So I am going to do that soon and check out this vending machine and see what they're talking about. Um, and I'm going to go back to the other person too. The first person I was supposed to go see. Was it the first person? Well, one one of the ones I was supposed to go see, but he he had, you know, it was during the holiday season. Both our schedules was just kind of messed up. All in all, make sure you do your research on these companies and make sure you ask as many questions as you can to get answers. Because once you start asking questions, what I realize is once you get in details and start asking questions, they're going to go ghost. They're going to go ghost. They're going to start wasting your time. So I'll just like, just from the jump, don't even go back and forth. Because when I went, what I did with Carl, the vendor, I went back and forth. I should have just from the jump pour out every question that I had and he probably wouldn't respond back to me and I, I would like okay save you some time to go scam somebody else because you ain't gonna scam me but anyways I hope you guys take something from this video and use it on your bending search and I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for tuning in to who's that girl tv with your girl Danny K in no other way I hope my Danny babies have a beautiful day until next time my love peace love and blessings bye